He's the total package with open courtability, and, and he's, I think he's... Here, there are like three different ways teams could go. Do you think Orlando should take Chet Holmgren number one overall? I don't. I just don't see the franchise altering player. I see a tall, skinny guy that when he stepped up in competition that didn't play particularly well, Skip. In nine games versus ranked opponents, he averaged nine points a game, shot 49% from the field, 21% from the three, and 60% from the foul line. And he has the nerve to say he has a chance to be a 50-40-90 guy. He did. He might be one of those Malcolm Brogdon type 50-40-90. Average 15 points a game. Normally the guys, the Kevin Durant's, they're in the high 20s, 27, 28. True. Larry Bird was in the mid-20s, 25, 26. Steph Curry, 20, uh, what Steph averaged, like 30. So, yeah, if you go ahead, man, you're the number one overall pick. You can't give somebody 15 points a game mm -hmm. and think that's going to be franchise altering. No, especially with the way these guys are coming in now, Skip. I just don't see it. Actually, I like the kid from Auburn a little so better. I. Yep. Um, he see, Smith. Yeah, he seems to be a little bit more athletic, a little bit more so, uh, solid. Well, standing up next to Chet last night on ESPN, I'm thinking, that, that kid's tall. He's yeah. a full 6'10". 10. 10. Okay. Hungry, what, 7'2"? 7'7"? 7'-ish. 7'-ish? But Skip, they list him at 190. Mm. If they list you at 190, that means you're probably like 185, 175. He got to I, oh, I mean, how you can't add any more long, tall, skinny dudes. They've already cornered the market on that. So I don't know what Chet ultimately is going to be. It's not just that he's skinny, but if and from watching him uh, over the what course of this year, he's kind of slow. He's slow. The release is slow. Oh, okay. The moves are slow. And that's a bad combination. It's one thing to be skinny and fast. It's another thing to be skinny and slow. So. No, I look, if you want to give up the Orlando Magic, have at it. But don't, don't yeah, do it sure. over Chet Holmgren. There are, there are bigger reasons to let go of the Magic. Chet is not at the top of the I'm list. Out. Oh, oh. He did, and he's called the unicorn. <laughs> yeah. I, I hear everything you just said. I, I was bullish on Holmgren when he was in high school because I would see the highlights on yes. YouTube. We showed one at the end of a show one day, and I said, I, 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 I've never seen him quite like that. He's got handles at seven feet tall. He can stroke three-point shots with form that, that looks textbook to me. So he's got a real pure shot to him. But I agree against the good teams last year. Every time I watched him, he, was bad. he looked timid. Yes. And, and against Arkansas when it got to in the Sweet 16 when I lost, they were calling some classic NCAA ticky-tack amateurish fouls on him. But, but he looked flat out overwhelmed he, he dare i say he looked a little scared against yeah. arkansas because athletes are flying all around him and he's right. like I, I don't know if i belong out here <laughs> well w w wait till you get to the next level and see what you got flying at you every right. night right okay what do i do see in him i see seven feet i see seven six wingspan because he's got really length to yeah. him and i see a springy jumper he, he's got hops to him so Last 28 years, nobody has done this. He made 40 plus threes in a season and had over 100 blocks. I know he can block shots at the next level. He doesn't do it with physicality. He just does it with length and quick jumping. Right. He can spring quickly and get up, and he's got a knack for blocking shots. Well, is that good enough to take him number one overall? No. Because if he ever grows up, if he ever gets any man body, and I'm not sure he ever will because sometimes your metabolism is such, yeah. it looks like he's got that kind of metabolism. Well, he'll, he'll never gain like it, Sean Bradley. Right? Skip, actually, he looks like Kevin Durant. Kevin Durant looked like yeah. Kevin Durant is the same, damn near the same. He might have gained 10 pounds yep. since college. He, had that, he ain't got no frame. I mean, you saw Shaq. you like, man, Shaq can, if Shaq can put on some weight. This kid, the most he'd probably be skipping, 7 foot 200, 205. Yeah. Okay. You're probably right. But if you're betting on the come, if, if, if you could take him as a project, I actually like Oklahoma City sitting in number two. And this is a Sam Presti schedule, uh, special, special where he just take him and say, well, give me five years and I'll show you something right. here. Because the ingredients are there, maybe not to dominate, but to have a star. You know, actually, he's hoping Orlando take yeah. chance so he can sit right there and take Jabari Smith. Okay. Well, <laughs> maybe. But right now... If if I have to do it, if my franchise depends on it, I'm taking Jabari Smith because it's it's just it's conventional wisdom. I I see it and I saw the right. plays that he made for Auburn and I say that will translate. Right. And the competition, I think, yeah. a little, oh. it was a little is a little better. Yep. And so for me, Skip, for what they get, that Skip, they're a young team. 
Chet Holmgren ain't changing their fortunes right away. I mean, I don't think either one, none of these guys, uh, Ben Chero, the guy from Duke, I'm not over there. Everybody loves him, but I, I mean, there are games that he just disappeared. No, he didn't blow me away. No, he didn't blow me away. There were times, highlight-wise, Chet Holmgren blew me away. I just don't know if it translates to the next level because it's the level. I, I, don't, I don't believe and You so. know what? It's a man's game. It's a strength game. It's a physicality game. It's what Jimmy Butler's preaching. Right. I'm going to run into you and yeah. see if you fall down. Well, is he going to fall down? Probably. He might break. He might break <laughs> him, too. Yeah, well, and uh, what you call him? Prazinga stole Kevin Durant. He should not be the unicorn. That's no. Kevin Durant now. Yeah, I agree. <laughs> I don't know who gave him that name, but y'all gave him the wrong name. We are one pick out. So I think they are going to go safe. And I think of all these guys, Paolo is the safest. I've said, or Paolo is the safest. Mm. I've said, I think it should go Jabari, Paolo, Ivy, Chet. I would, I, at, once I get to the fourth pick, I'd be comfortable with what I think is a massive risk with Chet. But I think of all of these guys, the one who is the least likely to be a bust is Paolo. And so I think that's why the odds are shifting. That's why they're going to take him. Now, I understand the argument, which is you're the magic. Wow. You need to take big swings and you can't worry about fit. Yes. I do understand that. But I also understand their mindset, which is we got unlucky for a decade. We were one spot out of the spot we wanted to be in. And now we have the number one pick. We have to get a guy who's going to be on our team for the next eight years and be a contributor. And I think Paulo is the safest of all those. Jalen Suggs says he's going to become the best white American player. His dad, Larry, who coached uh, Chet throughout his life, said he's going to be the best white American player since Larry Bird. I think there's a better chance that he becomes Chris Stapps Porzingis. And I tell you what, if he's a healthy version of Chris Stapps Porzingis, man, I'll take that. Because Porzingis, when he plays, is 20 and 8. And he's a very good player. We know he made one all-star team. So if Holmgren becomes that, and I think he could, then I can take that. I'd love to have that. But it's not enough to make me regret taking Jabari Smith or Paolo, who, who also could be Wilds better than Chris Stapps Porzingis. So, and I do, I think Jabari has more upside than Paolo, Nick. I think Paolo is safe. But I think Jabari could have more upside and is also safe. So I would take him. Basket. Might see it here. Oh, yes, right. <laughs> Counted in the foul.